That's the receivers help spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Dalton bootlegs out. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> so the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Dalton here from the gun. He drops it off for Bernard. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure they didn't give up much run after cash. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. A shotgun snap for gone. And it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected Michael passing Lee. situation. Throwing on third, gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, and now it's second down. To throw is gone. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 28. Cooks now in his second season with the Rams. He's had four straight years over 1,000 yards. He had two with the Saints, one with New England, and then he went over 1,000 again last year with the Rams. 80 catches, 1,204 yards. On first down, it's Gurley. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Gonna run the sweep here. This is Cobb. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, it certainly appears that in this game, someone has decided they're going to open up their playbook. First quarter, and we see that play. I like their style. From the red zone now, gone. And he's wrapped up. Taken down, back at the 25. Ryan Glasgow, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. 
It's an interesting partner that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Third and long. It's gone. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Getting the sack, the big D tackle, Geno Atkins. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good. The Bengals drive about to get going. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. He completes it to Boyd. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action here with Dalton. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. To throw again. Dalton and his throw is going to be incomplete his big tight end Tyler Eifert the intended receiver and it's third down I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me I didn't see anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions Passing, it's Dalton. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. They went with the dime look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. Here's Kevin Huber now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. It was Ryan Glasgow who got him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They're going to try the jet sweep on 31. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. 
He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Tighten up, tighten up. Dalton. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Right. Hands up, please. Hands up. They look to throw on third with Dalton. And Tate's got it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 41-yard line. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Nixon. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Bernard. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Jet sweep. Boyd with it. The former Charger All-Pro, Eric Weddle, on the stop. Not your conventional play call, but that's okay. You probe the defense a little bit with some of everything in your playbook. That way they have to account for everything as the game moves on. Now the Bengals on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. A draw play. Bernard. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. 
Pardon if you want more carries. I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. A first chance in the red zone for the Bengals now. It's first and 10 from the 12. Here's Dalton. Got his man. It's Eifert. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Looking for Bowen, and he's got him. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd there to make the grab. Now the Bengals, they widen their lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Bullock good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. From the gun on third down, gone. And that is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. The four-time All-Pro Johnny Hecker is on to punt for L.A. Alex Erickson deep for Cincinnati. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Bengals drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. He gets this one to Boyd. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Throwing, Dalton, and Eifert has it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Dalton to his big target, Eifert, for the Cincinnati first. 
That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Mixon with a first down carry. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. He's got his man. This is Tate. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Call it a loss of two on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. Now this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been like better. Please. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. It was Jordan Evans making the play defensively. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Out of the gun. Gone. And that will be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 11. They'll begin here with Bernard. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. So Dalton now. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Now, Bengals on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, Dalton. And that is incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Here's Kevin Huber now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And he puts a little something extra into this one, by far his best of the night. Now Natson. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. Golf on first.
first down. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Golf. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun, here's Gaw. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, it's gone. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So many questions about Todd Gurley in the offseason. How good is the knee? I mean, remember, he had a heavy workload the last couple years, nearly 4,000 yards from scrimmage, 40 total touchdowns, but just four carries in the NFC Championship game, 10 in the Super Bowl. So we'll see what kind of usage he gets this season. Gurley with a little bit of an opening there as he's able to get five on first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. His throw incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And now it's third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Call. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all. But this guy deserves his nicknames. Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This will be taken short. The Bengals drive about to get going. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, 
move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. to their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Dalton gives to Bernard. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. 